Um, so yeah, I think probably we are going to speak to the same thing, which is you know a lot of times what this uh, board topic and committee reports allows us to do is talk about the things we've been doing the, since our last board meeting. Um, and for most of us here, that means um, meeting with community members, um, visiting schools, um, answering emails, that kind of thing, um, visiting the listening sessions. And I think we just want to take this time right now to acknowledge uh, that fear and anxiety that surrounds us right now. We know that this is tough. Um, and I just want to thank you all um, for embracing um, the empathy, kindness, and human centeredness in this work um, that you display today. I really appreciate that. Um, we know that this is very, very difficult work, and we know we are not perfect. Um, so everyone you see here or saw here today, um, you know, we are all doing the best that we can every day, and I appreciate that you, you can see that. And we are all here for the students. So thank you whether you're watching um, from the audience here, whether you're watching at home, um, to those of you who have written emails, letters, those of you who have gone to multiple listening sessions, um, thank you. Thank you for being kind, respectful, and thoughtful with each other, with the steering committee, with staff, with each other. Um, I just really appreciate that. We've read every email that has come through. Um, and I can tell you that we are approaching this difficult decision with the best of intents, intent, looking through an equity lens and desire to understand different scenarios and decisions that we have ahead of us. Um, I know that you are looking at that in exactly the same way. Um, we have read them all. Um, I do want to apologize if I haven't re had a chance to respond to them all yet. Um, I have gotten caught up for most of them. I'm probably about 20 or 30 behind at this point. Um, and with that, um, we just want to correct a little bit of misinformation that has been, um, we've been seeing in some of the emails and hearing in our community. Um, one is that, um, when we just heard it tonight, that there was um, added, uh, an added third superintendent. I just want to let that be known that there was actually a change in position. The chief equity officer, chief equity and academic officer was actually uh, a superintendent, sorry, a cabinet position that was transferred over to the third superintendent as an equal um, equalizer there. And the information um, regarding Mr. Kingsley's salary being raised 18% is actually inaccurate. Um, the previous board approved his contract um, in the first year with a 6% raise, and then in the second year with an 11% raise. And it was in line with the average salary increase in that first year, which was 6%, and in that second year, which was that 10.28%, which was the highest um, increase that we have seen in over 80 years for all district uh, staff. So I just want um, to reiterate, I stand by my statement that I made in the Colorado, and, uh, and I will say it again with pride, that we really do feel fortunate to have someone as exceptional as Brian Kingsley to lead PSD. His salary and compensation is in, with, is in line with, and as the Colorado pointed out, it is among the lowest of all the, our comparable districts. Brian's built an all-star team that is leading the team towards excellence. And you will see that later tonight if you stick around long enough to see DE 1.0 uh, presentation, which we'll talk about uh, where we are. So we know that this is difficult. We know that this is a lot of information being thrown at you. We know that it's hard to keep it all straight. Um, PSD has now created a resource that'll be um, on the district website as of later this evening, I believe. Um, yes, later this evening. It'll be addressing questions, concerns, rumors, and in some cases, misinformation. So I do encourage you to stick around um, both for the budget presentation, for the DE 1.0 uh, presentation. If you can't do it in person, that's okay. Go ahead and watch that um, on YouTube. You can do that uh, live. You can do that later. Um, and just go ahead and take a peek at that website as well um, to help us try and keep all that information straight because we know that it is difficult at this moment.